Good afternoon, Royal Ones. This is Miss Gigi. I'm coming to finish up my message about people that's overlooking you. Um, like I was saying, people that that throw you in the trash, they say, oh, you know what? She ain't shit. She ain't about nothing. You know, be, be careful of the people you throw away. They might be the blessing you need. I'm dead serious about this because the Lord, if you pray for something, and you say, Lord, send me some help. Lord, send me some help. Send me somebody that know how to help me. Send me what I need for me to be successful. And then that person, sh a person show up in your life and they don't look like how you think they're going to look. And then they don't act how you think they're going to act. And then you push that person away. Let me tell you something. That's the very blessing that the Lord sent to you. Because it didn't come packaged in a way that you thought it would. Then all of a sudden you want to discard it. No. The Lord moves in mysterious ways and the Lord will answer our prayers. I'm telling you. So let me tell you something about judging people. Before you get to know them, you need to get to know people because they have skills that will help you. And then when, we, and then when you do see the skills and talent in that person that can help you, do not intimidate that person. Do not do what you can to over, overload them with stuff and do not try to put yourself above them and make them feel like okay you you the boss you you above them so they got to do what you say do not intimidate people do not do that and do not overwork them do not overburden them people come into your life to help you let them help you do not self aggrandize make yourself more important than where they are what you are in this situation when people come to help you you're supposed to know when to let someone help you if you are the smartest person at the table then you don't need to be there. If You need to be around people that know some things that you do not. Let me explain something to you. You're not supposed to know everything. Okay? Even if you say, okay, I know I don't know this information. Don't, don't feel bad. The Lord will bring it to you in a form of people. The Lord is a spirit. He moves through people. And he knows where you are. He sees what you want. And then so when the person show up, don't do everything you can to, to frustrate that person or run them off or, you know, make yourself feel like you're more important than them. And and let me tell you something about these relationships that, that I was saying that act up and that man that broke your heart and he dropped you because you ain't doing what he thought you were supposed to be doing and, and he ain't get out of you what he could get out of you. Don't worry about it. Keep moving because the Lord wanted that to happen, royal ones. The Lord has wealth for us, for his children, so that he could bless us in the promised land. The best is yet to come. We might be struggling now, but that's just temporary. That's because he wanted to move the people from around you that's trying to get what he's trying to bless you with. So he's got to cut them off. And the way he cut them off is he make them break your heart. Or he got, or he got to make you push them away, or become so, so dis, uh, such a disturbance in your life, so that they can get off of you because they're leeches and they're people. They come to kill, steal, and destroy. They got evil intentions and they got bad spirits that are walking around with bad spirits. Sometimes we can detect them, sometimes we can't. That's why I recommend using the spirit of discernment, because we we people are very very good. They're called narcissists. We can't always detect them, so we do got to stay in prayer. But when people discard you or they throw you away count it all joy and look at it as a blessing yes it'll hurt but for a little while because the lord is going to reveal to you why this situation had to happen the way that it happened and oh and yes and, and you will go down but then let me tell you something about people that that you um that you that you throw away and then they always bounce back and they come back 10 times stronger that's because the power of the lord is with them and they're supposed to be the people that, that, that you need in your corner. And the Lord will send you people while you're down or while you're on your way to your mission. He'll send certain people to help you. And you got to learn how to discern those people that are there to help you. That's why I said be careful who the people you throw away. That just might be the blessing that you need because the Lord put the blessing in them to bless you. God will bless other people to bless you. Okay, but if you can't see that. And you get intimidated or you get threatened by that person's gift, skills, or talent. Then you're going to mess around and throw your own blessing away. All right. So let's be aware about the people around us in this season, Royal Ones. 
Take this into your day. Take this into your year. Don't forget to comment, share, like, and subscribe. Love, hugs, and kisses. Bye.